my stars and starettes welcome back to my channel my name is Amy I am a former teen turned mentor if you're new to my channel I provide advice for young people and share my personal experiences as well so that you guys can learn from my mistakes and get a head start on your success so let's get started Forgive me for the flower crown. I know it is like the middle of winter, but I am manifesting summer because it is so cold. So today's video is going to be about the seven types of bullies, whether they're at school or they're at work or they're in your community. These are the seven types of bullies that you may have encountered or might encounter. When you experience bullying, a lot of times you internalize that, meaning that you you put what that person is doing to you on yourself and there's a lot of shame and guilt in. And you know, I mentioned this in an earlier video that you lessen yourself because either you fear retaliation or you feel that you're less of a person and that can lead to low self-esteem. That can lead to somebody unfortunately unaliving themselves. And, and I want you to know first and foremost that it shouldn't be happening to you and it's not your fault. So the first type of bully is the bully that's very grandiose, like that has a big ego. I know when we hear the word grandiose, we hear that that's associated with narcissism. This type of bully has a big ego and gets thrills off of bullying lesser people. And you may notice that this person in school has like a really big personality and like the teachers may kind of like, you know, pff, like, you know, this guy, like, you know, and they may like refer to him as arrogant, but he's usually the type or she, this type of bully feels better about themselves when they knock you down. Okay, so the second type of bully is the verbally abusive bully. So bully number two is the type of person that has low confidence, easily like jealous of others, but tries to mask that by being more than what they are. Back again, we have that grandiosity. We have that like, oh, I'm gonna just be extra. You know, maybe she's like a pick me bully. She's just like, or he, cause it could be a pick he, I don't know what the male version of pick me is, but like it could be a person that like, especially in social situations, like they have to have all the attention. It, let's say if somebody compliments you on your shirt and then she'll go back or he'll go back and say, well, oh, that shirt, I saw that on the clearance sale like two days ago. They try to bring down your social popularity or level. The third type of bully is very cold, but at the same time they can like flip flop back and forth. So they are very aggressive, very cold, very rude. But then when they're in the principal's office, they put on a front, you know, they may start crying or they may be charming to the principal so that they're at their discipline either gets reduced or they have no disciplinary actions at all. That is this type of bully. They have the ability to pretty much make you feel like you have no idea what's going on in their head. Like when you stare at them, there's like nothing there. And they can switch and they can move like a, like a chameleon. Okay, now this bully is kind of rare. This bully usually has some sort of neurological, no, I'm sorry, developmental disorder um, or learning disability. And it makes them highly insecure. So for that reason, they assume that a lot of people are picking on them or making fun of them. So he's extremely paranoid or she and um, outwardly picking on you pretty much so that they won't feel that you're picking on them. It's like, oh, I'm going to get you first before they get me. That's the kind of bully that this bully is. So the fifth type of bully is a bully that was once bullied. Try saying that faster. So this person was most likely a former bully victim and started to realize that if you can't beat them, join them. Now, this type of bully is a lot of times what we see when we see um, students who decide to bring harmful weapons and unleash harm onto students in school 
or you know things like that because a lot of times that is their revenge or if it doesn't get to that magnitude this bully victim just becomes a bully and starts picking on younger weaker children to make them feel more powerful the sixth type of bully is actually going to be what is considered a group of bullies so this group of bullies would probably not make fun of the bully victim if it was just one-on-one -on -one confrontation, but because they're in a group, they feel stronger together. This is really bad because a lot of you may be in friend groups where you may have that one quote unquote weird kid at school where you wouldn't bully them if it was just you and that person walking down the hallway. But if it's you and your, your friends, you guys are like, oh, look at what he's wearing or like, look at what she's got on or like, so together as a group, you guys are being a bully towards that one person. Okay, so the seventh type of bullying is what you would call like the crew or like the gang of like bullies. So this would be equivalent to like the mean girls. They're a group of girls that are mean and they're, they pretty much stick together. They wear the same colors on certain days. I really didn't see the movie, but I, I think that's like the gist of it. So you notice that when they're all together, it showed that they were more powerful together as a group. But you notice that when they were alone, they really didn't have power. And that actually behind the scenes in their individual friendships, they weren't really friends. So this was my video about the seven types of bullies. If you have any more or you know any other types of bullies that you know of, don't forget to comment that and also share your experience with any of the types of bullies mentioned in this video. Thank you so much for watching. And again, my name is Amy and I'm gonna put my Instagram down below. And this is where I post memes, affirmations, and just new video alerts. Thanks for watching. Bye.